give it your best. And be proud in front of that guy, Mark Andre Fleury. He's had one of those fantastic seasons, Staggy, and none bigger game than tonight. And this guy here is uh, winless against the Penguins, 0 2 1 in his career with a 4.71 goals against average. Anders Lindback, who played last night in Columbus in a 4 2 loss. And Mike Johnston, hoping the Penguins have more goals in them this season so they can uh, put the Sabres away and gain a playoff berth. And Ted Nolan gone through a very, very difficult year to say the least 23 wins, 50 losses, 54 points, the lowest total in the NHL. And they look forward to next year when they might have Connor McDavid in the lineup. And right now, though, the Penguins have to take care of business. And from the opening draw it is Ben Lovejoy paired up with Paul Martin. All 30 teams in action today. Here's David Perron behind the goal. Perron gets free, shoots the puck, and the save made by Lindback. The puck's loose in the crease. Malkin there digging forward, and Lindback able to freeze. Boy, the Penguins are getting good looks at the net again here. Well, Perron was able to come out from behind the goal line and appropriately just kept going with it. The puck control by Sidney Crosby in deep. Banks it off the cage to himself, working feverishly again out for Hornquist. Now loose for Winnick to Hornquist. Shoots it in the save made by Lindbach. Down on his butterfly. Hornquist just couldn't elevate the puck. Here's Scuderi with an out of the goal and it hit a man in front. Kunitz out on right wing now for David Perron. Stolen though. Good read by Mazaros. Cutting in. Mazaros shoots it. And Flurry came out to challenge and made the save. On Mazaros. Yeah. Now a Penguin is down. Looks like it's David Perron. Yeah, David Perron went in there. Mazaros, I believe. After the shot, it looked like uh, he got into a collision with Perron. Or maybe Perron was trying to get back very quickly on Mazaros. I didn't exactly see right out of the corner of my eye. David Perron down for a good period of time here. The pocket sends it back down deep. Taken there by Sutter on the backhand. The shot. He scores! Brandon Sutter breaks the ice. And the red light goes on, and that's a pretty sight. And it was, again, working from behind the net. The Penguins got the puck deep after a great breakout, a reverse. Brandon Sutter on the ice for the Penguins, so they got their full complement of forwards, and there's a chance right in front. Winnick to Sutter, he scores! Brandon Sutter scores another one, and the Penguins lead it 2 to nothing. He came out of the locker room, and he scores a goal with stitches in his face. What a fantastic play. What a patient play. No hurry there. He's done a good job of keeping it in the zone, and a shot stopped. Gianta fumbles the rebound, and then took a shot. It was blocked by Cole. And then Cole and Gianta tangling as the puck comes to Keep him in there. Keep him in there. There you go. Good job. Do that, Jocelyn. Keep the Sabre Gianta in the offensive zone as the puck went in the neutral zone. That's a brilliant play by Cole. You get engaged. Gianta's offside. There's nothing the Sabres can do at that particular time. And Gianta just keeps whacking away at Cole with the stick. And Cole was exhausted. He was out there for an extended shift after the Sabres timeout. And now maybe the, the Penguins able to talk a little bit of trash talk. They haven't had, been able to do that in a long time. It's a draw. And a pass across now to Ennis. A blast on Fleury made the save. Molson with a rebound, a shot. Fleury stops that. And it's loose behind the net. They battle for the puck, just pinballing around and squirts free to the near side. A minute 10 to go. Martin whacks the puck back to center ice. From the draw, the puck up for grabs. The Penguins trying to get it out. Mazaros with it. One second. And it's all over. The Penguins have broken through to clinch a playoff berth for the ninth consecutive year. Handshakes all around. The team is our McDonald's players of the game. And Mark andre Fleury getting his 10th shutout of the season. What a way to finish it for Flower after the year he's had. Great to see him enjoy that kind of success in the final game as he helped the Penguins get to the playoffs again this year. Well, I think it's fantastic the job that uh, everybody did here tonight. They battened down the hatches. They insulated their net minder. The Sabres didn't have much going in this hockey game. When they did, the Flower came through. Ten shutouts on the season? That's spectacular. And Sidney Crosby had another... Fantastic day, but Brandon Sutter was the hero. He had both goals for the Pittsburgh Penguins after having to go to the dress room and being uh, on the mend. He came back out and scored the second, Staggy. What a game for the Penguins.